fear that I'm going to lose my child, for sure. I try to put that out of my mind as much as I can, but it's not only a possibility, it's a likelihood. It's a real scary thing, having your child be sick. What she has does not have a significantly uh, long life expectancy. I mean, she was just so happy, and then, you know, it's like a disaster. It really is. It's my daughter. I don't want to lose my daughter. My daughter was diagnosed with cancer in her leg March of 2012. I remember that Samara took a bath and mom saw that there was a bump on her leg after. I bet that was one of the worst hours of our lives. They take you in a room and they tell you, she's got stage four rhabdomyosarcoma. My daughter has a 20% chance of beating this. At first when I was getting a needle, I cried, but I did it anyway, because getting a shot or a needle is not as worse as getting more cancer. My daughter had like 46, 47 weeks of chemo. I don't think there's a moment in there when you're like, wow, this is not so bad. I think it's just a function of, you know, tolerating it. It's very quiet on the oncology floor. It's a very lonely place. And everybody's going through their own personal hell. But with High Lifeline, I really did feel supported by my own community. High Lifeline is lots of people who like to give you presents when you're feeling sick, like, yeah, to make you feel better. They would love you, they want, they care about you. Initially, they said that they hoped that they could shrink the tumor down small enough so they could excise it. And all of a sudden, they tell you that they have to amputate her leg. I kept looking at her with her, both her legs and thinking, look how beautiful her legs are, you know? We went in for the surgery, but before she went under, she went to the nurse's station and she started singing for the nurses. Baby, you can do it. You're awesome, baby. You may think that being brave is doing something that's really hard, but it's not. It's being scared, but you do it anyway. I cried and cried, but then I stopped crying and I let it be. High Lifeline was wonderful to us. They come to the room and make parties for her. They came to the house here and made her a Hanukkah party. They provided so many activities that gave Samara and all four of us things to look forward to. I don't know what we would have done really without their support. There's something called Camp Simcha, and it's a camp for kids that had cancer. Every second we did something, and each day was a different theme. A regular camp doesn't have all that cool stuff. She loved camp so much. She had the best time. I mean, she got to make friends who were also battling cancer, so she didn't feel so alone in it. I was upset that I'm different from everyone else, but I learned that being different from the others is like being special, like being unique. Look at me now. My hair is growing back, and I'm fine with my leg. Cancer, can you just get out of my life and other people's lives? I'm crazy about her. She's the jackpot, you know, she's the prize. She's fantastic.